Today I want to talk to you about architectural layouts. Are you still doing them by hand using paper and glue? Do they look inaccurate and ruins all the time? If yes, then this tutorial is definitely for you. Simple, fast and interesting process of modeling and printing. And this is about SelfCAD. And today we're gonna show you how to create an architectural model in a few minutes. And don't be scared if you're a beginner. Today we'll prove you that it's easier than you may think. So let's begin. First, let's create cylinder how you see on video. Switch visualization mode and use scale by height. Now use move tool to return object to center. Looks great, right? Now we need to create one more cylinder. Use scale to reduce cylinder size and move it to center of first object. Now use stitch and scoop to create a hole and then move tool to return it to center. Very simple. Next step is creation of a cube. All measures you can see on video. It's so comfortable that you can change size and see how your cube is looking in the same time. Ok, let's move on. Now we create a cylinder and set up position and size. Create a copy of cylinder and also set position and size. All tools that you need – rotate, move and scale. They are on top very easily reached. Now select all objects except the first one and use difference. Correct size and position and it can take some time but it's important for an architectural model to be perfectly fit. Now create one more cylinder, then create a copy of it. And use difference to cut off the corners. Now we need to use move tool and scale tool to reduce sizes and move them. Also, we need to set up position and size. It's looking interesting, don't you think? So, our next step is creating a new object. We need to copy the first created object and set up its position. Now just move it aside and create a cube. Use difference and move it back. Copy spire and simply rotate it, scale it and set up position and size of both spires. This is so simply doing in SelfCAD. Enjoy your process. Now, we need to create one more cylinder. Oh no, even two. Use difference on both and set up their position and size. Very simple actions, right? But the result would be amazing. Now create a cube, set its size and position by relation to last created object and use difference again.
So the next step, we need to copy this part and set up position and size. With help of scale, we can reduce sizes and rotate objects on 90 degrees and also stretch it on X and Z. Use rotate and move to set needed position of spire, increase height of extension of belt. Half of work is done, that's great! Now create a cylinder, copy extension and cylinder, use difference for both of them, and set up position and size of a new object. When you are using move tool, rotate or scale for example, you can do changes using gizmos, they are on your object, or set exact values in a checkbox that you can see on the left of your screen. Also, there are small tooltip videos on your down left corner and it's very helpful if you want to know how this and that tool appropriately work. Also, if you may notice, we are creating an abstract model, but this shows you that you can objectify any of your idea in our online app. Now we need to create one more cube. We will use it to cut our last created extension. Now we are making a copy of it and use stitches cut difference to cut our last created extension. Those actions are simple but needed if we want the perfect size. Now we need to finish setting up position and size of our small extension and then we will copy the central element of our belt and rotate and scale it. Now we need to create one more cylinder. We will use it to make our copied object more thick with the help of difference. Also, with the help of move tool, we will return it to the center of our object, reduce sizes and do it higher with the help of scale. Now we are making a copy of our smaller extension. We are creating a cylinder and using difference to do copied extension also more thick. Of course, don't forget to use scale to do it higher and with help of move and rotate, give it the appropriate position. And we did it! So dear user, today we created an interesting architectural model and it takes us less than 10 minutes. So you definitely see the benefits of modeling rather than pacing. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Express yourself in 3D with self-cut. Bye!